Okay, so here's my Windows desktop with Linux Lite 64-bit running side-by-side -side with VirtualBox using seamless mode. Um, so I've managed to remove all of the bottom panel so you doesn't, doesn't see that or interfere with the Windows operating system while you're using it. And then on the left here we have all of our programs minimizing to and from Plank. I haven't managed to get Compositor to work properly so I'm just going to leave that disabled. And then on the bottom right here is where I've got the whisker menu still remaining, what's left of the panel. That way I can still launch programs that I don't want to pin to the dock if I need be. And if we look at the settings in the VirtualBox Manager, you can see I've just set it as a base memory of 1 gig and a 100 gig hard drive. So when I want to launch a program that's pinned to the dock, I'll go over, click it. And if I want to minimize it, I can use the minimize buttons in the top right, or I can just click on the icon in the dock itself. So here's the settings manager for Linux and then we'll also open up the terminal and we'll type in the htop command to get a view of our system resource usage. And here's our Linux file manager and then we'll also open up the Windows file manager side by side just so you can see them in tandem. And then there's the usage there, 600 something megabytes out of a gig. And if we open up the task manager on the Windows side, we can have that side by side as well. So you can see CPU utilization is only really 7% on Windows. And snapping kind of works, but not automatically. So you can't snap an individual window, but you can do that so it's a bit clunky but it does work and I've got all of this set up to start automatically when I boot my computer so if you create a shortcut in the virtual box and then copy that shortcut into your startups program on your Windows OS it will work when you start up your computer so make sure your Linux is set to automatically log in without requiring a password. So this bit of footage here is sped up just so you can see that it works fine when I boot up the computer and it's already there for me. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.